Yo, 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 now that that's over with, I know y'all got tired of seeing me vibe out and dance like a crazy person, but sometimes music have you acting like that, you know? Um, Before I even get into the interview, I want y'all to take a look right here. Take a look right here. This is the main reason why half of these dudes is out here still trying to make quality hip-hop. The best that ever did it. You see it. Peace. The R. All right, so couple things that need to be addressed um i've been getting a lot of slack on twitter um uh, and, and uh on my youtube channel about my top 10 uh people was upset with me because i had rick ross at number 10 well i mean you know last year i could say that i banged rick ross a lot it was my guilty pleasure when i was driving in a car uh, Mastermind was in heavy rotation. Hood billionaire, we won't even talk about, but Mastermind was in heavy rotation. And I'm getting a lot of slack about not having logic under pressure um, in my top 10. Which, all in all, on an album perspective, Logic's album was better than Mastermind. So if you want to put them in a 10th spot, you got it. My top 10 was my top 10, but you guys are right. Logic and 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 honestly, Freddie Gibbs and Mad Libs album was better than Mastermind, but I just played Mastermind more. So I uh, will I, I my apologies for that. Uh, speaking of top ten, Logic did drop a nice a nice uh, single with my man Big Crick called Top Ten. Um, I think it's produced by Big Crick. It's a banger. Um, Big Crick got a nice line on there. Um, he lets people know that he's signed, but he says if he waits for the label to see his vision, he'll go blind. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that right there just sets it off. Um, uh, I, 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 I like Logic, believe me, don't get me wrong, um, but, you know, a couple of the tracks on the album was a little reminiscence of J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Um, so, you know, especially on, like, uh, uh, I'm Gone. Um, but, you know, that's neither here n here nor there. Of course, Logic's album was better than Mastermind. You guys got it. Um, another guy I picked up, this gentleman, I, I, I'm not sure where he's from, but it's it, it's like, it, it's a nice, nice, uh, 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 it's like refreshing, I guess, if you want to say. A gentleman by the name of Nick X. Um, it, it, the album is called "Don't Go Computer on Me," and it's and it's it, it's it's short. It's probably like five or six songs, but they all hot. They all bangers. Um, one standout track is a track called "Merc," um, and another track called "Crack," um, which they're just hot. You just gotta check him out, Nick X. Um, I what I I, I I did pick up um, in the last few weeks my man Ghostface new album Sour Soul it was on time it, 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 I thought it was gonna be pushed back him and Bad Bad not good um, it really really nice album I did not give it the full uh, the full real listen yet um, I did go through a couple of tracks though um, of course he has Danny Brown on there you you love Danny Brown's delivery his voice it captivates you. Um, of course, Gun Showers with, with El Zai is just amazing. I mean, you know, El Zai is just probably one of the best lyricists out right now. Um, you can never skip over a track with him and MF Doom. You just go right to it when you see it on a playlist. Um, a, a track called Ray Gun, production is hot. I'm sure it's MF Doom. Um, I didn't go through all the credits. Uh, but he has another track called Nuggets of Wisdom that is really, really good. Another track called Food that is good, where he talks about how money is, you know, the root of all evil. And we need to fill ourselves up with, with stuff to, to, I guess, get your brain going. And, and, and feed your, feed your, your, use your diet to feed your brain. Um, so you know, I guess with the with the people that follow Ghostface, which probably the same people from years ago, me included, um, it's really good to hear him elevate with the storytelling and also throw a little knowledge in there. Um, something else I picked up, which was really really hot, is Mob Deep's White Cocaine too. Um, I was uh, Mob Deep for me. They were I loved them years ago, and then they seemed like they just was trickling down. But this actually sounds like vintage Mob Deep. I, I gotta say this. This is vintage Mob Deep. Um, the beats are banging. Um, uh, uh, 
on track called So What Prodigy is just mad about not getting the respect that he deserves. He just talks all through the through the album about um, you know, how the young boys wish that they had the status that, that Mob Deep has. Um uh, Street Certified featuring MOP. I know that came out on MOP, but it's just a banger. It's just a street banger. Um uh, uh Outcome, the last track, the production is just hot. It's just hot. Another gentleman I'm listening to is a guy who's been around for years. Um, um, if anybody remembers uh, what the paraplegics, I think it's called. Uh, uh, my man King Mez. King Mez came out, um, and it, I, I don't. Know, I think it might have been late last year, or but I, I just got it like a few weeks ago, and it, it's just hot. He, he's hot. Um, so I gotta give big ups to this young lady. Young lady by the name of Ali Baby. I mean, it, she is really like Louisiana to the fullest. You could tell she listens to Juvenile. Um, uh, she she got she got a track with D1 that 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 sound you know she got it she kind of developed the D1 flow. Um, it's called uh, uh, First Love. It talks about them not having you don't have a child yet, but when you do, it's gonna be your first love. Um, D1 has has a nice line in there. Um, um, talking about how he could have had a baby, but he took Plan B, and how he regrets, you know, taking Plan B. Um, uh, she says in one of the songs, she got a wheelchair flow, like chicks can't stand her. Uh, I mean, you know, she got a track with Eight Ball um, called uh, Ace and uh, Mitch and Ace. Um, she got my man Don Trip on there. Don Trip, come on, man, Randy Savage. It's called jailbreak. It, it, it's just crazy. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. My bad. Listen, my man Don Trip have you like that sometimes. I ain't even gonna lie to you, okay? But yeah, download that Ali baby, man. Um, she she hot. She 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 good. She from down south. I got mine from live mixtapes. So grab that Ali baby if you get it if if, if you get it set. Um, another thing, like I said, I was on the West Coast this week with it, uh, and I'm normally pleased with my man Problem and also I Am Sue. And they even did an album, a collabo album together, which was very, very uh, good. So, um, I was a little disappointed in Problems uh, Out of Town album. I mean, I, I guess if you're cruising in LA on a nice sunny day, you can throw this on and you'll have a good time. But I was trying to listen, I kept skipping and skipping and skipping. I even listened to the track with, with Trinidad James and Bad Luck, and it got near the end, and I skipped it. Yeah, I skipped it, and it just, I, I, I love Problem, you know, I, he, he's good lyrically, um, but this album was just so disappointing uh, for, 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 for the West Coast this, this time. Uh, I Am Sue, another one, he's doing a lot of singing, uh, I mean, I don't know what's going on, you know, but, uh, I was a little disappointed in that. Um, one of the songs on Problem, though, he got a song with Young Thug, and it just, it really goes back to the reason why people think Young Thug is, is gay. It's a song called Milkin'. And on the track, on the chorus, he says, like, you know, we're milking these hoes, but I'm cuffing my bros. So, I don't know what's up with that but in any case um that's on them la can once again stand up though because of my man for sure for sean's ecology is just a great great album um I, I must say um he starts off the album very very good with a track called guess who's back um uh I, I, you know just you know just just stand up, LA, for, for, for Sean. I can see why Nasir Jones and, and Rakim, uh, you know, Nasir would be interested in signing them. And Rakim actually did it, did, you know, spit with him. So I can I can understand why my man R 
would want to do something like that because Rashawn is good. Um, a, a standout track uh, called Place to Go where it talks about the struggles of people in the black community. Um, and, and he says he says a line like, um, some of us have vision and some of us just have sight. And there is a difference. So my man for Sean, he actually has something to say. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really proud of, 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 of when people know that they don't have to just spit garbage in order to be, in order to, to, to make a hit. You know, a lot of guys are satisfied with actually saying something. And for Sean is one of those guys. Um, another standout track is a track called Man of the House, where he talks about once he turned 21, he had to take over the responsibilities as a man um, and, and, and how it, it fell, the responsibilities fell on him. And it's kind of reminiscent of the Ghostface and Mary J. Blige song, All That I Had, All That I Got Is You. Um, the beat kind of sounds like it. What he's talking about kind of, you know, it's kind of around the same. So it's a really, really positive track, uh, you know, of when you're struggling and how you could still do things and be successful. So shout out to Fashawn for that. Um, he got another banger called Out the Trunk. It has a nice little um, sample from one of Busta Rhymes in, in the, the, the songs, and the beat is just—it's just a banging beat. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and I was on LA this week. I'm not gonna lie, but you will not hear me saying anything about Tiger and. Chris Brown's album, fan of a fan, because I am not a fan of a fan of a fan. So, uh, we won't be talking about that. They got enough fans of, of, of the fans. But, yeah, for Sean, uh, on, on, on Uncle Brit scale, on a one to five, I would definitely, definitely have to give this a three and a half. Um, it's still the top of the year. Uh, uh, so far, it, you know, uh, it, it, we, we got our Tetsu and Youth. We got our Crooked Eye, um, uh, Sex, um, Money, and Hip Hop. And now we have the uh, uh, Ecology by For Sean, um, which is something for the hip hop community to be um, really, really proud of uh, going into the first court. So we, we got to stay tuned and, and, and we'll find out what's going to happen on the back end of, of the year. And of course, you know, we always anticipate the top tens. Um, but I, I just wanted to say thank y'all for, for tuning in. Make sure you thumbs up, you thumbs down, you put some little comments on there. And let let me know what y'all think. And give me some feedback. Who would y'all like me to do? Who, who y'all want me to review? I mean, that's what I'm here for. Um, you know, to let y'all know whether if it's whack or not. So, um, uh, Uncle Bruce 30 on Twitter. Uh, Mr. Uncle Brush 30 on YouTube. Let's get them views up. And, um, peace. I'm out.